everyone, I hope you're doing well. Today I'm taking you through my sort of work day morning routine you could say. Mainly just for days where I'm just working from home and I'm not filming. So whether it's like editing or doing other business planning and practice and things like that. So it's just kind of like a standard work day. So I've just made myself some coffee, my favorite mug. This little one's from H&M Home. I got it a while ago. I don't know if it's available anymore, but it's my favorite. It's so cool. But I'm just about to head downstairs and have a shower because unfortunately I have to wash my hair today. I normally have my showers in the evening. Well, I have one every evening regardless. But then about twice a week, I'll have an extra one in the morning just so I can wash my hair because I don't like washing it at night. So I'm not going to show you guys what I'm using my shower today because I've literally just put in like brand new shampoo and conditioner and stuff and I'm not, I haven't formed opinions on them yet. So stay tuned. I'll probably talk about what I use like in my shower hair care routine at another date. Alright, so let's talk skincare. So on the mornings when I don't have a shower, I usually go in first with the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Gentle Cleansing Lotion. This is the US version of the Jelly Milk Cleanser here in Australia. They're like the same product, they're labelled quite differently. They're both fragrance free. It's just a really nice gentle cleanser for the morning just to get off basically last night's skincare so that I can do it fresh so yeah that's what I normally use although on the days where I do wash my hair and have like my shower time I've been using this the QV face exfoliating polish I got this about a year ago uh, for that sort of drugstore skincare experiment I did and I really loved it but it kind of got pushed to the back of my like goo cupboard <laughs> and I just sort of stopped using it because I was trying other things for other videos but when I went through and recently and like decluttered my bathroom cabinets I pulled this out again put it in my shower and it's been really nice to use um you mainly use it in the evening but as I say sometimes in the morning I will do it as well it's such a gentle exfoliator you can definitely use this every day it's like it's so gentle and it is fragrance free as well so that's what I used this morning because my skin feels really nice and smoothed and then my next step is to go in with toner so you guys know I love the Soon Jung pH 5.5 relief toner as you can see I've only got a little tiny bit left uh, but I do have a backup but I think I'm gonna go through and use some of my other ones that I've already got open just to use them up. I have two other toners that are not finished, so I might try and use those up before I open my new Soonjung one. But I love this toner. There's something about it where it just feels really hydrating. It doesn't like evaporate super fast. Like I feel like some watery toners you put on and within about like five seconds, your skin feels really dry and tight. Again, this one like really hydrates the skin and yeah just doesn't leave it feeling all like tight and gross and then i will follow that up with some of the paula's choice two percent bha if you've been following my channel for a while you guys know that i absolutely adore this product i can use it every day now because my skin's very well adjusted to using acids particularly salicylic acid which is what this bha is and it's just so good i just feel like it really helps to keep my skin particularly my chin area really clear now i do like to let that sit for about 30 seconds or so just to kind of like absorb into my pores before I carry on with the rest of my routine. This is where I have a couple of sips of coffee. So my next step is going in with a hydrating serum. I used to use the Ordinary Hyaluronic Acid 2% plus B5. I still have a like half a bottle of that. I actually love it. It is still my favorite. But at the moment I have been trying and using this one by Skin Diva. They sent me this as well as a vitamin C serum to try out. It's about half the strength of the Ordinary one though. Um, so it is nice but I do think I prefer the one from the Ordinary. It's also a lot cheaper so I feel like I would rather use that one but first before I apply it I put on a water mist just to kind of increase the humidity around my skin if you live in a very dry climate like me you might enjoy misting before applying hyaluronic acid products because it can just help to make your skin feel even more hydrated so I'm going to do a spritz of the Caudalie grape water this is a very bougie water in a can but to be honest it is so nice and I think I would actually purchase it again the mister on it is just lovely I'm already like halfway through this bottle, so I'm powering through it. And then I'll just press that into my skin. And again, I'll just like let that sink in for a wee moment. And then about two to three times a week, I will go in with a vitamin C serum on top. It's something that I've been using actually for quite a while, but just, yeah, not daily. What it's mainly doing is helping to fade some of this like pigmentation and like around here where I had like acne scarring. I was trying out that one from Skin Diva. I thought that one was okay, but one that I've been quite enjoying lately is the Ordinary Vitamin C Suspension 30% in silicone. This is a very, very weird texture. I would say 
if you have dry skin I wouldn't go near it um, because it does have the potential to pill up very easily so I find that just a very very small amount pressed into the skin works fine I don't find it pilling up on me but like it's kind of like you can feel like it could almost pill up at any second <laughs> because it is so silicone-y, so I just like to apply a really small amount. I don't go up further than my orbital bone, like just because I don't want to put it like right near my eyes, but I do focus it around here where we've got that like, you know, discoloration. It is a bit of a weird texture. I am still trying to hunt for something that I think I might like better, but I can tell you, it does feel like it's really doing something. All right, next step is eye cream. It's something that I'm trying to do more regularly because I'm very lazy at it. <laughs> I'm currently nearly finished my Bobbi Brown hydrating eye cream. I love this eye cream so much. It is so nice. <laughs> it's very bougie um, and it's quite simple. I put quite a lot on. Yeah, going full ham. Um, it's very bougie and very simple. It is just literally a hydrating eye cream. So it's not like it's got like active ingredients in it as such. What I love about it though is it's the perfect combination of your skin actually does feel hydrated and plump but it doesn't feel heavy like it soaks in beautifully so I do think that they've made a very good formula it's a shame obviously that it is so expensive but eye creams I take ages to get through anyway so I don't kind of mind investing in them then I'll pop on with a bit of moisturizer for like most of the last few months I've been using the Soon Jung Hydro what is that called I think it's the Hydro Barrier Cream I loved that so much I used it up entirely so I'm just switching over to using this one from I'm From it's their Vitamin Tree Water Gel I don't love this one as much like it's it's a really good moisturizer for really oily skin um, and I do think it's a nice product I don't though like it as much as some of the other ones in my collection it's pretty much just a hydrating gel there's nothing very like emollient or moisturizing about it it's just like hydrating but because I go in with a sunscreen in the mornings on top I feel like I can get away with using it it is a little bit of a myth that you can't like layer hydrating products on top of silicone products they're quite different sized molecules so it's absolutely fine this product will still do its job and then I finish off in the morning with my Purito Centella Green Level Unscented Sun SB50 Ooh, running low this is my favorite sunscreen it is so so good very high protection against both uva and uvb it's unscented it uses the really nice new age chemical filters so you don't get a white cast but they don't break down in sunlight like some of the other ones they're reef safe it's just such a fantastic product you've heard me rave about this many many times and i'm still enjoying it and loving it so that is my morning skincare routine on my face i'll usually go in as well and put on a bit of a body moisturizer on my legs mainly um, at the moment i've been doing this the benton shea butter and coconut body lotion it's actually unscented even though it sounds like it would have fragrance in it, it just uses shea butter and coconut oil in it so it's really nourishing but it's quite lightweight and liquidy so i've been quite enjoying that on my legs and if it's quite sunny and i'm going to be going outside for more than like 15 minutes i'll put on a body sunscreen as well like on my arms and stuff and i've been using the cancer council active sunscreen sp50 Again, talked about this one heaps before. So before we launch into makeup, I'm just going to put some of the Aveda Damage Remedy. Oh, I'm running out. Daily hair repair <laughs> through my hair. And I just leave my hair slightly air dry while I do my makeup. Just because it leaves, like, means I'll have less heat on my hair for as long. Particularly focusing on the ends. Pop on a headband to keep my hair out of my face while I put on makeup. So on weekdays that I'm not filming, uh, even weekends, I do a very simple like five minute, five product kind of makeup look. So I start with a bit of concealer. I'm using the Flower Beauty Light Illusion in Fair. Put that under my eyes. Use the Flower Beauty Ultimate Blending Sponge to blend that out. And then I will go in with a light foundation. I'm using the Maybelline Dream Urban Cover Foundation. This one's SPF 50, so it's really good for the summer. It's in the shade Light Porcelain. A few little squeezies of that around my face. This just really evens out my skin tone, makes it nice and glowy. And as I say, it does have that extra little bit of SPF, which is quite nice. Obviously, I wouldn't recommend using this alone. Like, definitely use your SPF underneath as well in your skincare routine. But I do like that it's kind of like a little extra added protection. And if throughout the day I want to add like a bit more, you can always add a bit more on and you're sort of getting like another little layer. And then I go in with like a cream blush. And the one that I've been reaching for a lot lately is the Mecca Cosmetica Weekend Skin and Blossom. This is like a cream blush, cream highlight kind of product. And you can also use this on your lips, which is what I do. So popping in with the Flower Beauty sponge again. 
and just build up a bit of that color on my cheeks. Um, so yeah, just really bring that up around my temples as well because I'm not applying any bronzer. So I just want to apply quite a bit of quite a bit of life to my skin. And if you apply a bit much, you can just flip the sponge back over to the foundation -y side, boom de boom, and then just tap a little bit into my lips with my finger. And then I'll go in with brows. I use the Marcel Perfect Brow in the shade Light to Medium. And this is all I use on days where I'm not like filming and stuff. I don't really mind if my brows aren't like entirely filled in to their like absolute best. But I have figured out a technique to make them look like really nice just with gel. I'll sort of go through and like apply it as I would. And then I will literally like use it almost like a little pencil and grab a bit of extra product and kind of draw on the skin. And you can see it really fills in that part of the brow compared to my other brow. It's really good just for a quick little makeup look, especially if you're not wearing much else. And lastly, just a little lick of mascara. I'm using the Marcel Extension Plus Pro Lash Mascara. And there we go. That is my little five minute, five product face. If it's a particularly hot day, then I'll go on with a little bit of my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Natural as well, just on my T-zone to kind of like help the product to last all day but like today is quite a cold day so it's not going to be an issue. If I'm feeling like I need a little bit more colour to my face as well sometimes I'll go with my Chanel Soleil Tan to Chanel bronzer as well. I'll just whip in with my sponge. Boom boom boom. Takes about an extra 20 seconds. Alrighty next up is my hair so I'm just going to blow dry my hair using the Dyson air wrap system. I use this little attachment most days. If you want to see my full thoughts on this Dyson Airwrap system, I will link my review for it as well. It's an unsponsored review. So then my last step in the morning is just to put on my jewellery. So all these little pieces that I'm wearing are from Ana Luisa. I did some sponsored work for them a couple of videos ago, but this is not, this is not sponsored. I just really love them and wear them every day. Although the rings are not. These are my wedding rings, an engagement ring, and some heirloom pieces from my grandma. I talked about as well in a video a couple of weeks ago about how I was really keen to get the Le Labo Santal 33 perfume. And I went to like look at it and it was so expensive. I was like, oh my gosh, I can't afford that. So a couple of you suggested a few dupes for it. And so I picked up this little one from Maison Louis Marie and this is the number four Bois de Bellecourt. I believe that's how you pronounce it. I'm not very good at French. Um, so this is the perfume oil and this smells so similar. It's pretty much an identical dupe but maybe with just like a fraction more femininity to it. I don't know. It's really nice. So I just put a little bit on like under here and a little bit on my wrist and it is so so nice it lasts so well because it's perfume oil it's very very strong I find that I can smell the throw of it for a couple of hours and then after then it's sort of not as noticeable just around me but if I sniff my wrists I can definitely like get a good whiff of it so it is one that I think lasts all day it's just that if you're going out in the evening again at night you might want to do a little touch up but Oh, I love it so much. Thank you so much for those of you that suggested dupes. There were a couple other dupes as well that I might try like in the future um, after this one just to see whether they are similar as well. But this one, I just thought the bottle was so cute and I loved that it was a perfume oil because it's so handy for travel. But yeah, that is pretty much my morning routine from getting up, making coffee, having a shower, doing my skincare, doing my makeup, putting on my jewelry and fragrance. And then I'm about to now go get another cup of coffee and get underway with my day. So thank you so much for coming along with me. This was really fun, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe as well if you're new. If you wanna check out some of my recent blog posts, you can head over to lifebyannaelaine.com and if you wanna interact with me in between my videos, you can find me over on my Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and Pinterest. It's just at Elaine for everything. And until my next video, I hope you guys have a wonderful couple of days and I'll talk soon. Bye. Thank you.